to Scribbled Sim. This is Sid. Uh, we are actually going to be playing our first installment, installment, excuse me, of the house flip challenge that I created. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, we're gonna start from Cass and we're gonna go forward from there. Um, and just all right. So here we go. So let's go to new game. Um, and we're just going to create our sims. Um, I'm going to talk through this. If I don't say anything too interesting, then I will probably just fast forward through this process. Bethany and she I made all her outfits just showing you guys those so you can see and then we are going into making her husband right now Okay, so I just made uh, Bethany and Philip Carpenter, and we're going to actually put them here in Windenburg. I did place a house um, that I downloaded from the gallery. I didn't make it, um, but I did get it from the gallery. I um, I made sure that it was the proper amount. <laughs> and by proper amount, I guess, I mean, I made sure that it was going to be enough, um, because, like I said, we can start with at most 30000 The house I picked was this Overgrown Fixer Upper, uh, by C. Fairy Day from On the Gallery. Um, it's up there, like I said, if it's something that you're into getting. It's only 29548 Um, when you place it, it does become more expensive, so I actually, um, because it is $29,000, uh, I placed it on a lot that was like $3,000, and uh, that means that the price went over $30,000. So what I did was I placed it 
Um, and then I just deleted a bunch of the stuff that was in it that was making it a little more expensive. I just deleted stuff until it got to a point that it was under $30,000. And then that made it so that way I would be able to move Bethany and Philip into it. Um, but yeah, um, I know that she has more, a couple more fixer uppers, I think, on her profile. So if you're into it, um, she makes really great stuff. I really love, um, her builds, uh, but it's cool to fix up and everything. I would definitely recommend going and downloading it, but yeah, so I just kind of downloaded it. I placed it right here in Windenburg. Um, I made sure that it was enough but yeah so we're gonna move the carpenter family in there um they have 33,000 right now because i had to cheat their household budget so i had to move them into a lot to be able to edit their budget um but when we move them into this lot right now i will actually subtract three thousand dollars from their budget so then that way we're starting off on the correct amount of money and we're not doing too much money you know what i mean um yeah so we're just gonna move them into here uh it's gonna be good uh it i'm really excited to get this started and i hope y'all are excited too um but yeah so uh there's a lot of things in this lot um like i said as we move in you'll see what i'm talking about we've got <laughs> a lot going on but um yeah we'll take three thousand out like i said so they'll have like one thousand left or something like that but we'll do it it'll be fine <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of stuff in this house that is just a uh, perfection because it's just so run down it just feels so realistic so yeah so we have them here um i had to do some i had to cheat to marry them so that's why they're still happy moodlets from getting married um i forgot to marry them before i moved them in um, so yeah, so this is what the house looks like. Um, it actually is kind of cute. Uh, like I said, it's a fixer upper. So yeah, we're actually going to, um, since it's day one, we are allowed to, uh, do very minimal changes just to like make it function a bit. Um, because right now there's really no way for us to get into the house. Um, I don't think the Sims can get through any specific area so we're actually going to go into build mode and clear some stuff out um there's missing walls as you can see and i know one of the rules is you can't add or take away existing outer walls but when it's clearly like a missing wall like this that is like okay you need a wall for it to be a complete house you can add that wall back in like but like i said like we're not going to be doing it right away because again with the rules you're only allowed to do construction category stuff for one day unless you want to pay for extra days and um I don't want to pay for extra days just yet so um yeah what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clear away some of this stuff to make it more functional right here um maybe clear this walkway so that way we can get in um I think that's where we want to clear it uh, I don't know exactly where the technical front door is supposed to be I mean I guess it's somewhere I don't know but I think that's probably going to be the best place to clear a spot is going to be right there and because a lot of these items are debug we're not really going to get too much money from them but uh yeah I like how there's a little detached garage I think that's supposed to be the front door actually and then I could clear a walkway around the side of the house for them to get to it. But I don't know. At this point, it just seems like right here in that where there's like a gap wall. It just might be easier to clear here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clear right here. Um, but first, uh, should I do the budget first? Yeah, I'm... We'll do these... Move object sheet, sorry, um, because that's the only sheet we're allowed to use is move objects. And then, of course, the money sheet for um, uh, for adjusting the budget to make sure that it is the proper starting budget. So we're going to turn testing sheets, uh, testing sheets true for turning that on, and then we'll adjust their budget. Um, so instead of having 
$4,574, they will have $1,574 because we're taking away $3,000. So we're going to just put that in there, $1,574, and then there we go, minus $3,000. So like I said, that works out. Um, so clearly we don't have a lot to go on right now, but yeah, those are all the cheats that we're allowed to use though, so that's all. I also, um, I don't know, let's get started. Like I said, first day you can clear enough to be able to get into the house. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's move mailbox here oh, it was like just it was really hard to like get the sweet spot where I could grab it um, there's, these are debug items so we're just gonna like get rid of them like sell them technically I guess um, that tub though we can sell and get a little extra cash that kind of works out in our favor everything else I just kind of want to move aside so that way like I don't have anywhere to really put this it's like it is the big chunks of fence from debug so I think I'll just take away these two panels of fence oh, oh, so let me grab that I'll take away these two panels of fence move over this grass and stuff from the walkway because I don't know if the sims can actually get past that grass um, without getting like a does not compute air but um yeah so we're gonna move the grass so they can get through and that's really all we have to do so they have that clear walkway you know um that's all and then i gotta put a st like some stairs and like literally just pop some stairs right there i mean i could widen them but it's not for aesthetics right now it's literally just for function for getting them into the house so yeah um they can get in there just fine uh, yeah. I love how she has, like, a chunk of missing foundation right there. Like, I think that's one of the best things ever. Just right in the middle of the house. But the house looks pretty cool. It's supposed to be, like, a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, I believe. So, uh, there's a lot of missing walls. There's a lot of just, like... I think it's funny it's just like a lot of attention to like detail like it looks like a rundown dilapidated house and I love it this is like what I want to start start from like this is the goal of the fix it, like the flip it house flipping challenge that I had conjured in my head was that you know it was gonna be like this and they were gonna be like oh well, we gotta fix it but yeah but um yeah like We've got all the walls and everything like we could technically fix stuff right now But we would be going against the rules like I said um, first day is just to make sure that you can functionally go through and do stuff It's not so that way you can like go buy a bunch of stuff and everything um, They do need a bed for function. So they're two adults. They're married. So they uh, We can just get them this double bed um, I'm gonna get them the bed I don't think they need anything other than a bed at this point. I think that, um, literally, literally I think it is just the bed at this point that they need. Um, oh, and because they are adults, um, we can get them the easel and the carpentry table because that is a part of the rules. They're supposed to be able to make, um, their stuff. Um, and that's, that plays a part in the rules is the, um, uh, they have to be able to make stuff and increase their handiness and everything level. So we'll get the woodworking table, um, place it, uh, I guess there works or something. Um, and then an easel. And, um, you can put it close to the carpentry table so they can like work on stuff and be near each other or whatever and that is really all we need to do because we can't really do anything else without getting into one of the car the construction categories of the challenge and we don't need to be breaking rules already Ooh, it has a basement 
The basement is actually like the best looking part of the house at this point. But yeah, so I'm excited to... I might have... Sh maybe I should have had them live in the basement because it's like protected from the elements, but... I don't know. We'll see. There's a fireplace so they can have a fire and get warm from that or whatever, I guess. But um, I think we're ready to go. I think we're about ready to just let them get in here and start their life. Um, yeah, I don't really see why that wouldn't be fun. But yeah, since I have two adults, um, we're, we've got the their first day is doing stuff and um, yeah, the easel and woodworking table. They got their bed, so I guess it's about, I mean, it's about that time to go into live mode. So, here we go, let's do this, let's start this lovely challenge. Um, let's get them going. Um, we've got Bethany and Philip. they're married, they have the, the, like I said, I had to, I always forget to marry Sims that I want to be married when I'm in Create a Sim, it's like the worst, so I had to like marry them so we did that I'm gonna have them start a fire because it is springtime springtime gets a little chilly so I don't want them to freeze their little tuchuses off um, but yeah and then I guess like from the get-go I might just have them uh, stop okay you're gonna light it right yeah so I just guess from like the get-go we could have them start on carpentry and painting. Um, she really wants to be a painter, so we'll have her paint. Uh, oh. Uh, then have... Wait. Oh, well, he can paint. Sorry, I just like, I didn't realize I had him flip-flopped. Um, he can paint for now and she can carpenter or like woodwork or whatever you want to call it and we'll have them do that we'll speed it up we'll have them get something done get something done get something done we want them to make that money make that money because we don't have a fridge yet we need a fridge or we'll just order pizza it'll be fine do, 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 do. oh yeah so one of the rules um of the challenge and i didn't I didn't put it, I have it written in my notes for when I was making the rules of the challenge, but I didn't actually put it in the challenge rules, and that's my bad. I might go through and edit and, like, repost, but basically, they're not allowed to, because they're doing the carpentry stuff and everything, they're not allowed to replace items, especially since you're only allowed to enter build mode once, like, once a day, um you uh oh gosh I'm losing my thought all over the place what am I even trying to do um so basically you can't call a repair service you can't replace items if something breaks you have to repair it or hire or you do have to hire a repair service so you either have to repair it yourself or you have to call a repair service but you cannot replace an item because that would be along the lines of like oh I have to enter build mode so you just can't do it um I don't know I'm really excited to renovate this house. I think it's going to be really super fun. And, like, I, I like the color on the outside, so I don't think that there will be much change going into that. Um, what? Did he just finish? Okay. So we'll have him sell this uh, to a collector. Get some whatever. And then we'll have her paint and him woodwork, I think. That'll be a good idea. We'll have him s have her sell her horse sculpture for $20. That's nice, and have him sell the painting. Well, now we'll have her paint, and him would work. I think that'll be the best idea. But yeah, um, uh, I think that, um find a job we need them to find jobs because they just they need money and you are allowed to have jobs in this challenge it's not like a, you can't have a job you have to like pay. oh is someone coming are they just walking in oh what's considered our front door there's so many random doors i guess we'll find out what's considered the front door 
it? Is it that one? Oh, it's this one. It's in the garage. The front door is considered in the... What's in the garage? Well, do we want to do the welcome wagon? I mean, we could skip the welcome wagon. No, we should do the welcome wagon. All our neighbors, we're having like a billion neighbors come over because they're all like, oh my god, let's go meet this couple that bought that rundown, dilapidated piece of junk eyesore that's just been sitting in the middle of our gorgeous neighborhood for years now. All right. Bethany, okay, so Bethany, I, she wants to be a painter. I don't want her to be freelance. I don't... Does the painter career... The painter career is not freelance, though. She, like, it's it's not, like... I just don't really have the headspace or, like, the will to do the freelancing career. So I think we'll just do the painting career. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah. She'll be a painter. It's good. But we like it. All right, into the painting career track. We love that for her. All right, now we just need to have Philip pick a job, buddy. Oh, be social, Bethany. Good job. Oh, all right, Philip. What do we want you to be? I don't really know what I want him to be. Like he's a tech. He's a geek. He's like, you know self-assured uh, do we want him to be like a, a tech guru maybe I don't know or maybe like I don't know is there something else that maybe fits him more I don't want to do one of the active careers I just I don't want to maybe business maybe I don't know or a critic Business, management, investor, critic, arts critic, food critic. I don't think critic fits him. Maybe culinary, chef, mixologist, or an entertainer. I don't really want him to be that. Military, gardener, botanist, floral designer. Meh. Um, maybe he could be businessman. And, like, he sits at a desk all day and... I don't know, like, comes home to have some therapeutic experience working with his hands, building things, uh, astronaut, he's definitely not an astronaut. The business might work, because, like I said, like, he can, like, come home and, like, work with his hands and be a, but I mean, the tech guru, he'd be at a desk all day, too, and it would fit more with him, because he's a geek, and he probably wants to do that other stuff. He could be an eSport gamer. He likes gaming. And then he just builds his house. He could have built like a sick gaming room. It would be awesome. Um, yep. Tech guru it is! Um, yeah. So, let's get this welcome again. a go win. Um. Okay, so this stuff right now is going to be pretty boring. I'm going to fast forward through all of this. Um, I'm just going to get them set up for the day tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to uh, get them ready for like their jobs and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to just um, pop in when we start with tomorrow. Because remember, I have to have a sim that's in charge of construction has to be one of them. And that sim has to wake up at 5am and can't go to sleep before 8pm. Uh, so I have, I think I'm gonna have Philip be that one since he doesn't go to work tomorrow. Um, but then once that's the case, then we can actually get on the ball with the construction, which we should be doing right now. All right, it is 5am. And I'm going to wake Philip up <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just before we do anything else we're going straight into build by mode um, because here's what we're gonna do we are going to um, sell some stuff and I know that maybe some of you might be like oh fix the walls or oh you know fix the yard or make this look better but you have to remember I can only do one day of each construction category which is you know roof uh, roof, outer wall, foundation, porches, decks, gazebos, landscaping, uh, outdoor 
lighting, pools, ponds, fountains, home layout, inner dressings. Those are our construction categories. And if I do any of those, if I start any of those when I'm in buy mode, then if I once I close out of buy mode for the day, that's it. In order to do that, like work on that category again, I have to pay a $2,000 fine. And the reason I made it this way is because when you do house renovations, when you do kind of like construction and stuff like that, no, you don't do everything in one specific day. However, you know, you tend to order the things that you need for that one thing. You tend to, you know, let's do all the painting today. Oh, guess what? I want to change the paint because it didn't work out for me that time. Well, guess what? I have to go buy new paint or you know, like, oh, I really like these columns, but I decided later on that, no, I don't like the columns. Well, guess what? You don't get to just swip, like switch out a swatch. You have to change it all over again. It's not like you can just go in there and just do it all willy-nilly how you want it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the reasoning behind like the construction categories and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to, I, I move the trash can so that way they could maybe get those piles of trash worked on, um, taken care of because they're disgusting and it's driving them nuts. Um, I'm trying to move as little as possible. Again, like I'm trying not to like cheat the system here. Like I'm going to move this table here so they can have like a dining room area, maybe get another chair for them. So that way they can have two chairs that they can eat at the table with um but yeah i'm just trying to sell some stuff that's already existing in the house because then that will give us more money to work with because we need a fridge we need a stove we need those things so the more i can sell kind of the better at this point and again i'm only selling what would be considered decor items and decor items are free reign in build by mode if you're just selling them um, if you're purchasing them, again, you can only purchase up to 10 items a day from build by mode. Remember that as a rule. I can't move these lighting fixtures. Like if you're like, oh, just sell lighting fixtures. No, I can't sell the lighting fixtures because they're ceiling lights. You can't sell, you can't move around ceiling lights or wall sconces because they're hardwired in to the house. You can buy a floor lamp or a table lamp. That would be acceptable. Or you could sell those things because those are considered decor items um but yeah so like out here these plants and stuff are all permanent but the gnome is a decor item so i could sell him but i like the gnomes so i'm gonna keep them but um like the counters again are like decor items um so i could sell those that wouldn't be an issue this trash because the sims can take care of it that's the thing this big hole in the foundation um is considered a foundation thing and that has its own construction category so i can't do anything about it doors and windows um have to do with home layout uh so i can't move the doors and windows yet even though it would make sense to be able to like move them around but i can when i do decide to move them around keep the existing ones because like then I don't have to spend as much money and that kind of thing but let's worry about getting a fridge um I don't want to spend all our money on a fridge let's get a fridge let's get a stove so then that way because we ordered pizza but the pizza never came and so I just don't really want to deal with my sims being all like starvy cranky because it's just not gonna work for me but we'll have them clean up the messes and everything. Let's get them a stove. I really hope that they don't set anything on fire. Like, that's going to really bum me out if they do. Do I need a smoke detector? Like, I feel like it just, like, causes more panic. Like, maybe I'll just leave it alone. I don't need it. It's not worth $75 at this point. Um, when I only have $306. Like, no. I'm not going to do it. Um, but I mean, we can look around. Let's sell more stuff because we don't need everything. Um, I think it's really all we can sell. I don't think there's much else that's sellable. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, I wanted to get another chair for the table. I don't know, maybe if I sell something else, I can figure it out. I don't know. Um,. Ooh, curtains. 
I can sell those, get a little extra money. Uh, but I don't see anything else really that I can sell that would work out. Um, no other curtains, no other, or wait, maybe the mirror in that bathroom. something else gosh I just I'm trying to get us a little bit more money so we're not completely scraping by um, before we get checks and everything yeah I guess the mirror in the bathroom will have to do the mirror in the bathroom and then the toilet paper roll um, and that I mean they can pick up the laundry so I should probably just leave the laundry where it was I guess I'll do that, make them pick it up and deal with it later. Um, doo -doo -doo. But yeah, that might be all we can do today in build by mode. And you know what? I, you know, I'd rather do that than like try and fix something and not have enough funds to finish it. It's just one of those things. Like, and that's another reason, like, like, I put these limitations on the challenges to make it like a struggle. It's like, it's a challenge, but in like a fun way. It's like when you move into a house, you don't automatically make all the renovations in one morning. Like <laughs> we have 666 civilians. Um, you don't get to automatically just, you know, make anything, uh, or like make the whole house exactly how you want it. Um, you have to like work at it little by little, especially if you're going to live in your fixer upper and you don't, if you're not traveling to it from another house or something like that. And I think that that's what makes this challenge fun. And it is challenging, as they say. But, like, yeah, there's good stuff in the house. Like, a lot of doors, a lot of windows, a lot of stuff like that. And, and like, archways that we can use to our advantage later on when we're doing some projects. But, um, but yeah. Um. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we're doing. I think we're good. Ba all right, we're back in a live mode. And remember, I cannot go into build or buy mode at all during this day because it would be against the rules. You know, I would have to pay a $500 fine if I, I think it's a $500 fine or a $1,000 fine. Um, I don't know, I have to look at that. <laughs> but, um, failure to adhere to waking hours is a $500 fine. So, yeah, so I don't want to pay for, or sorry, any other rule break is a thousand. Uh, so, yeah, if I were to go back into build buy mode, it would be a thousand dollar rule break. Um, yeah, and if I did stuff in build by mode, then it would count as a second construction category day if I was working on construction, you know, and that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. I, it's a lot harder than it sounds because you're like, oh, like especially with some of this stuff, can they not? He can't throw stuff away, and I don't understand why. I have a trash can. I don't know why he can't throw the stuff away. It just isn't giving me the option to do it. Um, anyways, um, so since we don't have too much going on right now, and I'm kind of just working on getting them to go to work, getting them to do things, um, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up now. And um, I will see you guys next time, uh, where hopefully we will be able to do, I don't know, a little something extra. Maybe buy a couple more things, uh, sell some more stuff. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have enough money to actually get some stuff done uh, soon. But I think I'm going to wrap that up now. Um, it's been a great first episode. Um, I am going to be uploading this challenge on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you want to keep up with it, those are the days that you should be looking out for. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you enjoyed it because I'm assuming you did. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. Go do something else with your time. Um, but if you did enjoy, awesome. Come back on Thursday and see how things keep progressing. And then also, um, 
if you want to participate in the challenge, the rules and everything are on my Twitter. They're the pinned tweet. Um, so you can go look at that. And if you do decide to participate, make sure to tag me in um, whatever it is that you're doing. And I will go look it out. I want to see videos of people doing this challenge if you decide to. So anyways, I'm going to wrap that up. I will see you on Thursday or whenever you watch one of my new videos. Thanks again and bye-bye.